In the first chapter, we talked about the essentials of e-commerce, and one of them, one of the topics was payment systems. Uh, every shopping cart needs to have some kind of integration with some kind of payment system, and PayPal is arguably the most popular uh, choice when it comes to online merchants and, and payment processing. Um, PayPal is it, there's no monthly charge. There's just a small percentage uh, for each transaction. Um, there are a few different kinds of accounts. Uh, if we say, click on sign up for free at, at paypal.com, we'll be asked if we want to create a personal account or a business account. If you're selling online, I'd suggest the business account because there's less um, limitations. And the most popular is the standard, which is $0 a month. Um, and it, it allows your customers to pay through PayPal through their account or they can pay with their credit card and the, the actual payment goes through PayPal servers so this makes it very easy to integrate uh, you don't need a uh, secure an SSL certificate um, you just usually each cart including PrestaShop will have a plug-in for PayPal where you just add your PayPal email and you'll be all set. You'll be ready to take on to take orders. Uh, this advanced account I think is new, um, which it does allow you to take credit cards on your site as opposed to going through PayPal servers. Um, and then there's the pro account, which obviously allows you to take cards on site, but it also offers other options. It also gives you a virtual terminal which is like a a physical credit card processor you would just you could take cards at an actual shop or from your actual customers and process them through the browser through your PayPal Pro account so it's a couple different options um, for this section we're gonna go with the standard solution uh, I already have a PayPal account so I'm not gonna sign up but this is how you would you just click on get started and and put in your information. So we're back in the back office of PrestaShop and PrestaShop uses modules for payments for payment gateways. So we want to click on modules and we'll be going over modules in depth in I think the next chapter um, but we should have a PayPal. We can actually narrow this down. Let's filter our options and just write in PayPal and it brings us right to the PayPal module which isn't installed by default we have to click install alright so PayPal is now installed um, in the first chapter we went over PayPal Pro which is an on-site solution uh, it looks like the module for PayPal Pro is two hundred dollars. I was not aware of that. Um, that doesn't. I don't know, that's just not a good deal <laughs> in my opinion. But uh, we're sticking to the PayPal standard. Uh, we can actually click on configure. All right. So this is where we can configure our PayPal account. So we have some options here we do have a PayPal account so I'm going to click yes that I have an account and then we have this option here which asks us if we need PayPal to process all credit card payments or if we need PayPal in addition to another processor that we're using so at this time we don't have any other processor so we're gonna keep this checked uh, Let's scroll down and here it asks you for your PayPal credentials. Let's click on this Get My PayPal API Credentials. And you can log into our account, my account. And it simply just gives you the information you need. So we're going to highlight the API username paste that in there as well as the password and finally the signature okay paste that alright so now it's telling us 
to finalize we need to confirm the email address so we need to check email sent by PayPal when you created your account linked all right so this looks like it's to people that, that don't have an account that are actually assign, signing up right now uh, let's scroll down express checkout offer your customers a three checkout a three click checkout experience uh, we'll keep that enabled use a sandbox uh, this is if you want to actually run do some tests and not make actual purchases uh, while you're in development mode but we're just gonna keep live mode uh, selected payment type payment type we're gonna keep at direct sales and let's save that alright so now congratulations you can start now accepting payments with PayPal alright so now our users should be able to go through and purchase a product uh, we have shipping set up we have our PayPal account set up so all that's good to go but you if you want to process credit cards on site then PayPal PayPal doesn't do that a well, standard um, account doesn't do that as we talked about before PayPal Pro does um, and you just saw that the PayPal Pro module was $200 um, there are many other resources out there authorized.net is one of the big ones um, that I, I personally have experience with um, I would suggest going through an authorized.net reseller as opposed to going right through their website because um, they can waive the fee but more importantly they can offer you a, pay, a payment processor as well because authorized.net itself is only a payment gateway you need a processor to actually process the payments. Now, let's say you do you do go through a reseller or you do go through authorized.net. Um, you would go to modules and you could grab the authorized.net module. And you can see it's not installed. Um, let's just install it. I'm not going to actually input authorized.net information or my account or anything like that but this is what you would do pretty much the same as the PayPal click configure and it actually looks like it's a lot easier than PayPal you just need your login ID your key uh, you could choose from production or test mode and you can choose which cards you want to accept and then you have your order status for hold for review so pretty easy we, you could get this the key and the login ID uh, just by logging into your authorized.net interface and then you would click update settings and you should be all set um, as far as functionality as far as security you would need to get an SSL certificate um, if you want to process credit cards on your site no matter which payment gateway you used now when it comes to purchasing an SSL uh, there's many different providers um, my first suggestion would be to maybe write in a, a support ticket to your hosting provider and seeing if they offer an SSL certificate and which kinds and how much they are and if they'll help you actually install it which most of the time they will um, as far as standalone providers, uh, one that I use a lot is Namecheap. And I'm just going to give you a few resources. I'm not, I'm not suggesting any one over the other or promoting any of these companies. Uh, they're just some resources that I've dealt with. Uh, if we go to SSL certificates, you can see there's many different kinds. And the difference in each kind, I mean, you can see you can get a, a Komodo. Um, SSL for seven seven dollars and ninety five cents a year, and then Verisign, which is the the, the highest security and the most respected um, SSL certificates, are starting at three hundred and thirty five dollars a year. So um, the difference varies. The difference uh, as far as features, uh, it's usually uh, the difference is usually in encryption strength, issue time update times, the support that is offered, the warranty, 
um, as well as um, which devices trust which certificates. Uh, any one of these would be fine if you're if you're um, most of your customers are on a desktop or a laptop browser. There are some mobile browsers um, that might have an issue with some of the cheaper ones. Um, I'm not a, I'm not exactly sure about that, but I think that is a possibility. Um, so as far as other providers, even GoDaddy. This GoDaddy, uh, enom.com is another good one. You can see GoDaddy, if we go to all products, SSL and security, looks like they have some on sale. Um, it's 49 a year, 99 a year. You can see the different options and features. Uh, Enom, they have GeoTrust. GeoTrust is another big name. Um, I mean, they, if you look at some of the prices, they go, you know, really high. Um, but like I said, if you, if it's just a if it's a new shop and you're just starting out and you don't really have a lot of experience with e-commerce, then you might want to shoot for one of the the twenty dollar to to ninety dollar. SSLs and within that range um, unless pricing isn't an issue then of course um, by all means go for the big ones but um, you'll definitely need some kind of encryption some kind of SSL certificate on your shopping cart um, if you're processing them on site so what I'd like to do now is visit the front end and make sure that the PayPal module is is enabled and working correctly so if we go back to our front end and our cart's empty so let's go ahead and add the iPod shuffle and you can see already we have this checkout with PayPal Express Pay so they can do the Express Pay or they can go through the entire cart uh, let's start with clicking on the Express Pay So you can see it goes right to, this is my PayPal account, um, the iPod Shuffle 6605, it's, it's in there, the shipping that we created is in there, so they can either log in and pay right away, or they can be, choose to pay with a credit card or debit card, and that can be Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express, so very convenient. Um, I'm not going to go through the checkout. Uh, I actually just want to I want to look at the standard checkout now so I'm gonna that is added to my cart so I'm gonna click checkout and this will give us a summary just like any shopping cart you can see it added the $12 shipping um, shipping calculator we don't need to do any of that so let's click next oh you can see the carrier there uh, so now what it's doing is we need to either log in or we need to sign up, create an email address. Um, now that I see the Express Pay is working, um, I'm pretty much positive that the standard checkout will work. Um, I can't go through it here because we're on my local host. What I want to do towards the end of the series is transfer this to a live server and make an actual purchase just so we can make sure everything's running correctly. But it looks like the payment's fine, the shipping's fine, so uh, I think this is a good place to stop. Um, so that's it for the payment system. I'll see you in the next video.